this horse um, has clearly had some training done to her, right? Her. Uh, the downside is, like you said, you're not up with her level. Okay, so let's, let's go through the basic gates, get them better, then we're going to work on the spin, all right? Think about this as basically everything's got to be so smooth, okay? It's like, you know, you're, you're having a cup of tea, you know, and you're trying to be just like the, you know, the most elegant person and prim and proper you can possibly be, okay? That's how I want you to think for a minute. But I need you to use your legs a little bit more. Your legs are not working for you right now. And this horse looks to me like it works off of the leg a lot more than what you're applying. Let's work on the canner for a second. First thing I saw wrong with the canner, you really tightened up on the reins, okay? Right. And as soon as you did that, did you know when you asked for the canner the first time how she got, she got kind of really hopping around? That's because you were, you're pulling on the e-brake and hitting the gas at the same time, okay? So you're allowed to do one thing, lift a little bit. The other thing that you got wrong is you got the horse on the wrong lead. Now, I don't know if you're, you're fully understanding of the leads. Do you know what they are? Okay, but you probably don't know how to feel them, is my guess, because you didn't realize you were on the wrong one. And that's okay. Now, let's talk about how to get the correct one so that way you can, because I think your horse is going to get it automatically if you tell them correctly, tell her correctly. First thing I noticed, I noticed when you were going around to the left, your left leg was on the horse more. And that left leg should mean pick up the right lead. The right leg means pick up the left lead on a more advanced horse. Okay, on horses that don't know their leads, the legs mean absolutely nothing. Okay, um, but on a horse that fully knows it, that's the cue. When you ask this horse to canter off again, I need you to do two things. I need you to let go. I need you to put the, the outside leg on. So if you're going to the left, put on your left leg. If you're, I'm sorry, right. if you're going to the left, put on your right leg. Um, and just stay a little looser. Sit up a little bit more. Don't lean so forward. Let's try to change those three things. Sit up, let go, outside leg, okay? Let's try those things. And be just as smooth as you have been now at the walk and the trot. Hey, you got the lead. You didn't get the hopping around. Doesn't that feel more comfortable? Now just help her get back a little bit there and then loosen. You're trying to micromanage the situation. I need you to sit up, relax, let go a little bit. There you go. Try not to hang on fully with your legs. Use your independent seat to help you. Now see if you can start to let the reins go just a little bit. She's going to go a little faster when that happens. So I don't want you to hold her back. I need you to help her understand. Don't go forward, just come back a little bit. So pull and release. There you go. Relax your seat. That's okay. So it started out fantastic, ended terrible, honestly. Um, and I'll tell you, tell you why. One of the things is that as you were getting into it, you got tense in your body at the same time. You let go, there became like the snowball effect all of a sudden. It started with um, you being able to uh, um, pick up correctly. You picked up the lead perfectly, but then you started tensing, 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 and then she got a little fast because you were tensing, and then you got even more tense, and then the whole thing just went downhill and we couldn't get it back, okay? In order to change that, what did you do at the trot to try and help her slow back down? You just lift it up, okay? One of the things that you do from the trot to the canter is that you grip with your entire leg. Now, this horse is a bit leg sensitive, okay? You need to use your independent seat, which comes from your hips and your midsection, to try to roll with the horse a little bit more, okay? You tend to tense yourself up. You tend to also look like you have a rod shoved up your rear end. So we want to pull that out, <laughs> okay? And we need to move a little more flowing with the horse. Now, I want to try that one more time, but I want you this time to really think, and it, here's what I'm, I'm going to give you a little reference to think about. In your head, I want you to think that you are, imagine yourself as the most stuck up, elegant person you can and what they would look like on a horse cantering right now. That's how I want you to, to look. 
So we're just going to try it again. By the way, you got the correct lead and you asked for it correctly. I was, that was very, very good. There you go. Now just sit up, lift up if you need to, and then release. There you go. Much better. Much better. And then just lift up a little. Hey, we're going too fast. Just a little. And then release. That's right. So don't kiss so much. Use your legs a little bit more. I think you're jump starting the engine. Now drop your hand. Drop your hand. There you go. That's much better. Now say, hey, that's a little too fast. Come back to me. And then that's, and then I'm going to set you out. Remember you said you watched them set the horse? You got to set the horse. There, now let loose a little. Let loose with your hand. And then let's stop her right here. Okay. The start of a change. Not perfect. How'd that feel though? A little better? Well, at least I know what to work on. 